Alrighty. Johnny's too good. Yeah. I'm looking at this play and I'm envious <laughs> of the technical precision. I was talking to Johnny before and Johnny was like, yeah, I got waxed by Dorbaldi last time, so I'm very happy to see to sit down and see, see him up. It's true. Johnny is always humble. I've never seen Johnny get filled with hubris where he's like, you know, like, like I totally had it, you know, they're they're totally carried, you yeah, know, like, no. like I've seen other people have that kind of complex or whatever, and uh, that's why they're not improving. But yeah. Johnny is always like, damn, I suck. I need to work on not sucking. <laughs> and look at that. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. It turns out when you have a good attitude about it and you're not a fucking narcissist about it, you might actually learn. <laughs> nah, I think Johnny just gets all of his rage out before he shows up. He actually just like owns like an axe throwing. <laughs> Uh, venue. Wait, is that dead? That's oh dead. My God. That down smash on DI out is toast. Wow. Three stock. Wow. What a resounding comeback for Mr. Jonathan. Dude, what? I have to fight probably Tizy next. Wait, you go in from me to Tizy? That's yeah. disgusting. Because I'm the four seed and he's the five seed. Oh, so it it's like that it's quick. like the one match during that round of winners that's not like completely lopsided or whatever, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because it's usually like MC David versus Convex right. or, you know, like, uh, uh, what's it, like Stan, you know, versus uh -huh. Melee Enjoyer or something. But yeah. this one's just like, wow. I mean, I mean, Alex also beats me most of the time. So that's definitely, you know, definitely not in favor for me. But I would say in terms of seeding, that's the closest match. I will say, um, Tizy Melee Enjoyer has been going on for 17 minutes. Garrett could have won. Garrett's taking games oh. off me before. They're up. They're talking. Ty, oh, what's, I gotta see. We gotta see who walks into the. It's kind of first. ambiguous as to like the what happened here. Yeah. 
I feel like they're both pretending that they're not really upset. Right, know? yeah. You, know, you can read that from either of their faces. Yeah. I, I would go off that vibe that Tizy's pissed that he went game three against the Link, and uh, Melo and Joy is like, I choked it. I had it. I always I always throw or whatever. Yeah, and he's talking about his, like, 30-step bomb canceled maneuver that nearly worked that out. That he dropped. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and he, he hit it at, on unranked yeah. versus uh, Haunter. <laughs> yes. and, and now he's ready to take it to the streets. Uh, okay, well, we got normality anyway. Uh, bouncing back. Uh, taking Stadium by storm. Yeah. What are your thoughts on... Is Falco Stadium good, bad? Uh, Falco Stadium good, bad? I've been trying I, to figure this out. I think it's truly... Uh, I think most spacey stages boil down to preference. Even like FD, yeah. where Fox has the chain grab, like I saw plenty of Foxes on FD. Right. Because I'm confident there. Yeah. I, I I know that I can get my Shine Ash Shield into, you know, like a 60% pillar combo or more ideally. Yeah. Uh, these Foxes be dropping their chain grabs and then getting tilted as shit. It's so. true. I, I like taking dip to FD. Even though Falco, Falco Falcon should suck, it's just like, oh, I know Dip hates this. He hasn't played FD yes. in years. No, exactly. And so more important than anything is like, what are you comfortable with? What, where do you feel like the stage is not going to tilt you and, you know, yeah. temper your expectations or whatever? So, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think um, it makes sense, too, because since it is unfrozen, I would favor Fox in this case uh -huh. because uh, the transformations just allow you to hit truly, like, infinite combos on people if you have the tech skill. Right. Jerry and Old Xanadu used to just drill shine people into the tree a hundred times. Oh. You know? He would be practicing it uh, while no one was at the venue. <laughs> he, he, would, he would get there right when the venue would open at five or whatever. Uh -huh. It's like, all right, tree time, tree time. Yep, exactly. Dude, I can't believe Normality uh, lived that up air. Uh, I don't know if you saw it. Normality, uh, Normality DI'd so far left, it was just like... It, it, it was like perpendicular with the stage. I don't know how. On an up air. Oh lord, Johnny trying to close oh. it out. Jay killing themselves. They actually do kind of have a tendency mm -hmm. to be a bit of a choker. Yeah. And a bit of a suicider, you know. Yeah. One you of get, those Ernest Hemingway types, you know. <laughs> you get two types of normality. You get either. Uh, I feel like it's mask on, mask off to normality. When normality has the mask on, he's scared. But I feel like normality comes up to play, and then mask off normality chokes a little bit. Yeah. No, it's true. It's true. I feel like I feel like when normality's on, it feels like I'm watching like a like a like a three and tour version of Silent Wolf, you know? <laughs> yes. But yeah. but when Jay is not feeling themselves, I. Uh, I feel myself in yeah. them, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I I think the two of us have bonded over it. Yeah. Let's see if Johnny can even the stock count back up, but... Ooh! I love that Nair after the uh, after the short hop back air sort of just establishing, like, any any sort of uh, resistance you have in the corner is going to get stuffed by my aerials. But Johnny tying it up, it could just be a 2-0. Yeah. If he's not careful. Let's see, who gets the first opening or, here? Or if... If Jay's if, not, if they're not careful, yes. yeah, Johnny could make the comeback. Johnny is a boy. <laughs> that was clean, though. Yeah, <laughs> that, clean it up. That was sick. <laughs> Cerebral. Um, yeah, that back air is just the coolest way to edge guard people. Also, yeah. like it's the most basic spacey edge guard, but just like insta flick off, you know, yeah, yeah. flick off bear, kill the illusion, you know. Yeah, especially a side B. It's just like you yeah. pop in and out. It's like yeah. hello, yo yo. It's clean. Every character has that basically. Yeah. Like, pretty much every character has some version of doing that edge guard to Falco. Yeah. Um, game three, where are we going? I think Jay might have banned... We went to Yoshi's game one, right? Uh, yes. So probably banned Fountain or Battlefield, maybe? Okay, yep. Yeah, 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 so I'm thinking one of those two is where we're going. I kind of dig the, the FOD for Johnny, though, because Johnny's been getting a, a lot of uh, runway with these, like, down smashes and forward smashes at, at yeah. ledge. You kind of just fall into those spots a lot with the weird low platforms. Falco's combos are buffed tremendously on this stage, especially because down air is easier than on any other stage to like reconnect with, you know? Mm -hmm. Double, triple down air, yep. down air into down smash, you know? Down air into up tilt into down air, you know? These, these platforms really do favor Falco. Yeah. Um, I think this is probably, if we were to boil it down, I think Fox probably has an advantage. Oh, what? Ooh, Whoa! What the heck? Yo! Oh, my God. Smile okay. for the camera, Johnny. Okay, PDH Carol. That was sick. Dude, he, he went for the up B, <laughs> thought he was just going to knock him off the top. Edge realized... canceled into jab down smash. What? That was some... The jab was just sexy. Some, some psychotic Falco idea. Oh, my God. Um... 
Wow, but Jay, Jay Ban bouncing right back, 80% combo. Yep. And counting. Oh, this quick up air. Okay, you try to use, to use the platform, but just a little bit low. Up smash, that's it. Yep. Nice. Trying to get caught in his shield a little Keeping bit. Keeping it much. clean. Jay uh, sort of snuffing out Johnny's flame right now. Yeah. Johnny's playing hot, started off really strong on the stage, and Jay is undeterred. Jay lost the first game and is now comboing Johnny for 84%. Oh my gosh. These up airs are literally taking it, taking it all the way out of this game. Johnny's got to find Oof. a way to get out of this. An entire uncontested stock. Jay is up 3-1. to one. Johnny literally did Johnny that clip and then hasn't done anything. <laughs> Johnny, He's got 9%. Johnny, Johnny is going to get more attention than Jay will because of that clip. Yes. <laughs> that, that is how Melee works. Yeah. There are plenty of sick sick clips where I watch someone hit a crazy clip and then I look up the set in real life and they just get 3-0'd by whoever the top player was. Yep. They, and they weren't even that good. They just, they just hit something crazy. <laughs> Johnny isn't out of it yet, though. Okay. Okay. Like the turnaround for the back air. Okay. Oh, Ooh, I, I think back air or up tilt would have been a little better there. Mm -hmm. Forward smash a little too committal. Yeah. But. Okay. Tries to get a grab, but Phantom Shine complicating things. No. No. Kills himself. That sucks. Johnny. Johnny must have, I bet you he got so much adrenaline when that hit. Yeah. It's like it's just like straight heroin. It's like what just happened to me. I, I agree. I so. agree. Wow. Ooh. Well, you know, guys, I think next we got Dip and Dank. Oh, yes. I'm hyped for this. Check it. Yeah. And why haven't they logged Tizi Melee Enjoyer? I want to close this saga. Oh, Tizi 1 2 1. So, yeah, Melee Door did take it to game three. But, uh, and then I have to play Melee Enjoyer or Slidal. Don't know who I'll play, but. That's good. So we got we got Dank and we got Dip. We got two Falco players that both love to press buttons. Do you Dank. know? Do you know the Dank lore? I don't know. I I know too much Dank lore. Really? Guy. No. Okay. I am the Dank historian. You asked the wrong question to the wrong gal. Uh. <laughs> no. Uh, Dank is the best player that nobody's ever heard of. This checks out. Yeah. Yes. I get it. As you can see, him and him and Dipper just duking it out right now. Yeah. Yeah. Truly having a time. Dank is green with his weeb tag, and uh, Christian is neutral. Um, so basically, Dank was at one of my first tournaments ever. Uh -huh. uh, he, I was having controller issues mm -hmm. where every time I tried to up throw rest, it would throw someone forward or backward instead. Yeah. No matter the direction I would do. Weird. And Dank let me unplug my controller and we did like a button check mid set. Really? That was my first introduction to Dank. And then we played a game three set where I ended up winning. Really? And he, he didn't even hold it over my head. And then he won the next set. And then pretty soon we had a little rivalry for, you know, like our first like two years, three years of melee. And Go. Occasionally, I'll run into Tyler and he'll give me some trouble. <laughs> he, uh, you know, he's a pretty sick player. Like he's running Christian really close. Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, and I, the other thing about Tyler is he has really nutty ideas that you might see. Gotcha. Either, either that or he might kill himself. <laughs> That's the player I'm here for. <laughs> we just want someone to go balls to the wall, glass cannon, Literally. hail mary. Absolutely. Ooh. Playing a little carefully, but only 14% on him. Christian is going to try to catch a jump, but Dank drifting a little differently uh, than what Christian might be used to. That was a crazy jab reset also. Yeah, yeah. He almost got a follow-up off that. Oh! Ooh. The double dip. Oh. By dip. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost hoping that the, the second one wouldn't kill and dip could go for like a triple. Yeah, the, the just trip run dip. for it. Yes. The triple dipple. Yeah. Sir, your our, ice cream is all chocolate our tri now. I was thinking ice cream too. The triple <laughs> dipple ripple. <laughs> Oh, laser. Oh, okay. Last stock. Here we go. This is close. Who's cooking? Anyone could really do it. That was a crazy decision right there. I actually love that. Yeah. Dank loves to, or uh, Dip loves to hang out underneath platforms. Sort of shark people. Yep. Dank converting amazingly right now. Ooh, Ooh Dip with a great uh, tech roll in. Yep. Saving himself from imminent death there. Oof. That wave lane getting caught. Oh, getting caught stuck shine. in shine. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, the shine, shine bear, air. not going to kill. Great DI by Christian. Oh, oh. the mid-short, not getting to ledge there. 
That was crazy. Yeah. I, I like the idea. I mean, your other option is just up B high, and you're kind of just dead anyway, so. Yeah, it's true. Kind of YOLO balling it, but. Damn, Dank taking game one. This yeah. could be a big upset. Or not, you know, because like I said, Dank <laughs> is the best player that nobody knows about. <laughs> This is this is dank. This is a, uh, so so I, I, I'm gonna present some dank facts. All right. So dank beat Alvin in Smash 64. Okay. Dank went four and two with Pichu in his first tournament ever. What? Okay. And dank. Uh. Oh, dank had a heart attack one time, and then came back to play bracket. That's the. <laughs> <laughs> Dang's a legend. What I the know, heck? I know, Brian. I know, Brian. I told I know too much about Dang. This is the I thought you were just saying like I'm a dank memer lord. No, 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 you're no, just no. you're actually you have the books. You have I, the hidden scripts of I, Dank. Absolutely. I'm the Dank stenographer, you know. <laughs> dank historian. Oh, that's Damn. so sick. And dank is running running wild on oh. Yoshi's right now. He's moonwalking! Why? Oh, <laughs> He just missed some. He, he just, just kill himself. Yeah, he did. Oh, <laughs> he, of course. He moonwalked into wall jump side B suicide. <laughs> I told you. That's so, exactly how it happened. It's so sick. Oh. Okay. Okay. Christian, we're trying to bring it back. We're trying to get some Christian rap <laughs> into the equation. Yeah. Get some. Ooh, I love that laser down tilt. Kind of overcomplicating it though, and sort of dropping a shine follow up. Ooh. That should be it though. No DI. Yeah. You know, Owl City's Christian Rock. Owl City the is fire, Christian fireflies. Rock. They're fireflies. I'd like people? to make myself believe that God is real. Yes, they're all. <laughs> they're Christian Rock, dude. I, oh, I think Dank definitely wanted to up tilt there instead of up smash, unless Dank was going for the Dank combo. Ah, these down tilts have been nasty, dude. Oh, oh, on the down throw. <laughs> He's relentless. He, he knows none of the good Falcon <laughs> throw follow. It was only the dank ones. That's crazy. Uh, he, he looked at the, the basic guy to Falco and just wrote down what wasn't in there and said, this is mine now. <gasps> oh, what? Oh, the tech roll in. This is crazy. Move it. Dude, anything could happen right now. Ah, they both have tilted. <laughs> Forward smash? No! He has a chance. Of, okay, damn, he tech uh, or air dodge. No! Ooh, just rip it. Doing to Christian what Christian does to other people. Forward <laughs> smash with the invincibility. Ooh! ooh oh, nasty grab. Okay, Dank breaking out of the combo. It's anyone's game right now. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Wow. It's so tense. Oh! No! Good edge cancel. Both playing very respectfully right now. Yes. Oh, Dank. Oh, oh. Dank. Oh, oh. Good counter. Breaks out of the Dank combo. Oh, Shaga makes it weird. Oh, the Nair. That was a strange decision, but those double lasers are amazing. Oh! The last second, Dip clutching it out, stopping Dank in his tracks. Dude, Dip oh, got actually really lucky that his Nair Phantom, so that way he could continue the combo. He's lucky that Dank let him win that game. <laughs> Dank would be for stocking him if he had it his way. Dank's running back to Yoshi's. I'm all for this. Let's go. Just scrap it out. Oh! Ooh. Close it early. Ooh. Okay. Dank with a nice recovery, but Christian with a huge ass combo right now. Oh. Yep. He's taking one from Johnny's book. Okay. Dank, nice DI out on the uh, on the back air, but that didn't matter. Yeah. Christian furiously zero to deathing him. Yep. Is Dank gonna crumble or is Dank going to uh Close it out, game three. There's another near fatal. What is it? Better, it was really fast. Ooh. Okay. Good roll out. Okay. Chris gets. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was going to go off. Good stall. Nice. Yeah. Yep. That should be it. Yeah. I will really, say, really ambiguous what to cover there, or like what position to cover. Right, yeah. When you both slow play it, then it's just like this wide open guessing game. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. Dank going for the same thing, but Christian flipping it on him. Christian's moving. Crazy pressure right now. Dank is not taking a stock. Oh, I like the counter, but yeah. not able to get up for the side B. Up B kind of puts him out of that bad spot. Dank really needs to get back into this. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Dank combo. 
Oh no! No! Dude, we're looking at a four star. Dude, Dank looks so sad. Yeah. Dank's like, man, I could have had. I was up four times to do. <laughs> I blew it. Just close this one out. Just get one. Oh no, Dank's doing. Oh! Oh no, that no, 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 Dank! Why? <laughs> He's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, Please, Christian. That was brutal. That was tough. a roller coaster upset. As soon as Christian grabbed last stock game two, I was like, oh, no, Christian's trying. He yeah. just pulled out the Z button. For sure. Shout out to Christian for turning it up, though. That was definitely an impressive last game. Yeah, that was sick. So. I'm going to go hop on stream. All right, good luck. Thank you. I am going to step away to see who I'm about to play. So uh, enjoy some more Xanadu Melee. All right, what better what better commentator to commentate this Falco Ditto than uh, Falco Man himself? So I don't know how good Tizi is, but I played against Luis and he's pretty solid. So let's see how this match goes. Got some dare tech chases. Oh man, this guy got some combos. I mean, so far it's looking like Tizi has all the control. Um, we get a back throw. I think he's dead. Wow. So that's just how the matchup goes, man. Just one, <laughs> one hit confirmed can end in death. Still has a jump. Nice angle. So as a Falcon main, I actually freaking hate this matchup. It's so stressful. <laughs> but I, I might be the minority here. Like, I I definitely don't like this matchup that much. Back to shine conversion. I think he has some really solid tech chases on platform. I like his, the options he selects. That was a really good wait by, by Luis there to, to dash chance just a little bit in the corner to mess up the timing. Fortunately gets the, the wrong hit of the down smash. Uh, he has the jump. Might be living here. Going high. Nope. Nice edge guard. Good grab there. Nice. So far this set is super even. Like between these two, like they're going at it. I'm loving what I'm seeing. That's the worst. When you get a shine, when you get a juicy shine, but you can't follow up on it, it sucks. Down air? Nice. Grab lunch? Yep. Alright, let's see if Luis brings it back. Nice. Reads attack roll in. We get up tilt. I was also expecting a roll there, but good, good on him to wait and shield. Oh, unfortunate. So yeah, this match has been super freaking even. Let's see who gets the first conversion here. Wow, breaks the combo with the jab. That should be it. He's... Oh, misses the, the tight angle. He probably could have lived that, but... Let's see what stage with counter pick. I don't think it really matters. I mean, I think the one big stage like that changes the gameplay a little bit is FD, but let's see. And I think it's still best out of uh, best of three. Stages, so.
So far, Louis is really using the full hub, full hub falling air here. Oh, they're both missing their their punishes. Like they're a little hesitant on a lot of things here. Nice. Tries that forward tilt was almost. Wow, he died there. <laughs> Crazy. So from what I'm seeing, like Taizi is really good at maintaining stage control when he has it. Um, sometimes he messes up his punishes and it ends up in a reversal. But nice up there. Doesn't get the tech chase. Gets hit by the rant forward smash. He might be dead here. Oh, <laughs> the transformations. Oh, nice. I wonder where we're seeing why people advocate for Frozen Stadium here. Just playing around on the fan. The weird part of the stage where you get stuck on. It matters in the in the long run, really. Shield's getting really small there. Tech roll in. He's ready for it. Also reads the tech roll in. Got to be careful with those high dares. It's easy to get shine on shield, and you're not at crouch count seventy percent either. That's like the third time I've seen like a really high falling nair, full hop nair. Let's see what. I like the weight. Uh oh. Nice. Nair's him out of the laser. Wow, what a flub. That's a big deal. Alright, let's see. Let's see if um, he can equalize before he racks up too much percent. The classic. Spot dot shine. Nice combo by Luis here. Another up air. Oh my god, that's it. That was a zero to death. Sick stuff. We got a game three. Let's see where he takes him for the counter pick. Yoshi's goat stage, in my opinion. Honestly, knowing how to shine out a shield um, consistently takes you very freaking far in this matchup. Like, there's a lot of instances where they could have had an easy conversion. I've seen a couple of those panic side Bs from Taizy in this set. It's unlucky. No fall up on the grab. Yeah, another another super high falling there. But doing a good job of keeping control of center stage here. And like as a response, Taizi is trying to like, you know, full hop beat him up there, but it's very difficult to match the timings when you're playing this matchup. He gets one there. That that back air almost hit him. Blazer was very close. Uh-oh. Alright. Three stocks, three stocks. Oh, sick combo. Very good at, like, again, very, very solid at converting on these platforms. Which is maybe why you picked Yoshi's. Stuck and shine. Wow, just mashes forward smash to beat the laser. It worked out. We have some tech flubs here. I can't believe he tech-rolled in there. All these trades favoring- oh, that's another flip by Taizy. I think he's catching on to the fact that, um, Luis is, uh, trying to escape pressure by full hopping out. Nice wait on the recovery, but still gets a down smash. It was a nice delay attempt at the up B. Reads the roll in. Nice. Down or shine, down or shine. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah I think one thing I've noticed is that Luis could be doing a better job with converting on these combos. He's kind of just full hopping out when he can continue applying the pressure, but still gets the edge guard with the down smash. Last stock. Tezzy gets the shine. Oh, what a combo. Oh no, he came down with the air. He got very greedy with that falling downer, and I think that cost him the, the edge guard. But it was a fun set to watch. It was really close both ways. I think I might be next. All right, I don't know who I'm playing.
This is Mike Hot. Hello, hello. Bry guy here. Hey, Andrew. Do you want to commentate? Yes. No, 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 no. I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm staying. I just didn't want to be alone. All right. So you, so you're now the uh, the local practice buddy because you play everyone. <laughs> yeah. You play every character. I look over and Stan's playing your piece. I'm like. Hello? Hey, oh, first of all, I just wanted to play. I've never played Stan at all, oh, friendly or tournament. So I just like, hey, I have the opportunity to both game propose, like, hey, you're the better player, but I have a character that you're about to play. Right. So yes. I would, you know, you translate like, Yes, yes. But he, he's great. He's very nice. Yeah. I mean, I haven't, been, I haven't stayed around for the ending of Xandu for a couple weeks now, but I feel like every time I pop up the stream, he's like always kind of at the end now. Like, he kind of. He's got the yeah. So, just kind of showed up and got to the top of the pecking order of the Falcons, really. Yeah, I wonder what the. Oh, that kills? That does. That's goofy. I think David actually DI'd out there and not expecting that, but. David is using a lot more down smash than I did. That's hype. David needs to use more down smash. <laughs> it's a good move. It's, you know, it's, yeah. it's your best move for a reason. Yeah. That was a seat. You took a game on. Who'd you take a game on? On set of three or. Uh, I was playing Johnny. Was it Johnny? It might have been Johnny. I think, uh, yeah, it was Dream, Dreamland Johnny. I saw that and I was like, oh, let's go, let's go, Convex. I see, I see. Have you beaten Johnny before? I beaten Johnny once. I okay. think we are now. Well, I'm one and eight on him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but you get that one. Man. Yeah. I keep hyping up. Uh, you know, this is best of five, so we got a little, little while to go here, so I can get off track a little bit. I keep hyping up the Johnny clip. Uh, did I tell you about it? Were you in the in the room when I was talking about what Johnny did? Oh, against I know, normality? I did. So on stream, go back when you get home. Go find this clip of uh, Normality Game Three. Johnny. I heard everyone react to it. I yes, will say. it's the first stock of the game. Johnny, you know, goes for the Goku shine up a up B into them, mm -hmm. right? And Normality DI's all the way left, right? And it's on Fod. And Johnny goes down, it, like, if Johnny goes to hit Normality, uh, he might get the kill, but Normality, uh, he's going to SD because he's going to go off the stage with up B. So instead, he goes down left, bounces out, jab down smashes. Like, the jab was needed to keep Normality up high enough for the down smash oh. to come out inside. It was so sexy. It was, like, so clean. I got to go back and watch this now. And I went up to him before, uh, afterwards, I was like, how did you react to that? And he's like... Oh no, that's part of the decision tree. He was like, he was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. If they go straight up, you go for it. If they go all the way left or right, he was like, no matter what, you're gonna go down, down. If you can't land on top platform, if you can land on top platform, go for it. And sometimes if they go all the way out, you just get that. And I was like, that's in your option select. You have that <laughs> free plan. Yeah. He's gone through every cookbook there is. I don't understand it. So yeah, he's like, I've done that before. I'm like, hey, shut up. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Meanwhile, Stan, David, David, not a comeback. Slow start, but yeah, it was a, a very quick start by Stan, and then David has really slowed it down yeah. much to his benefit. See, David, no, nope, drops it. Stan looking for. I will say, against Peach, you really need to know your stuff. That's what I'm learning. It's like against like David. I mean, I played. Uh, She's a big target, but yeah, if you mess up your, you know, you're hitting her, yes. if you mess up her crouch, where she's, you know, able to crowd cancel you. Yeah. If you throw out the wrong move sometimes, like, it's like, oh, this is a slower move, or, uh, like, you know, just not know how she's trying to approach. You can't just mind off, vibe it out. 
Peach is, I feel like Peach is you're always thinking about your openings. You can't just like mindlessly go. So. She's a moving tank, yeah. Yeah, so like, I don't know. Oh, jack it off. Yeah, okay, okay. What do you got underneath there? Is that grapes? I, I see a grape. That's huge. Is he going to take Jacket off? Is he going to be able to... Uh, no. Uh, no. He was just Stand unzipped. Stand BM. Just, just Stand uh, BM. Maybe he was just unzipped. Maybe he was just unzipped. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We need to get the player interview afterward to confirm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, I... Uh, all right. Over, under, uh, odds. Uh, give me the spread on David taking his jacket fully off after game two. Let's say, let's say David loses game, game two. Uh, after game three, do you think he's ripping it off, or do you think he's zipping it back up? I think, if anything, it's coming fully off. Ooh, ooh, did you, did you see that? The, the shield stun mm -hmm. let him land on the platform. It's goofy. Ooh. like it. Stand Maybe it's something up. to do with that lip there. He knows he can just kind of short hop, get it. That lip is so strange to play around. It really adds some fun decisions and, like, some fun uh, where you are on the slope, uh -huh. different moves will be able to very, uh, you know, just barely hit people on the platform above yeah. you. Yeah. You know, like, uh, Sheik's up smash, for one, you have to be all the way to the close to the, you know, already past the corner. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're close to the edge, you know. And also likely, and maybe not on this stage, or at least, uh... Oh. What just happened? I don't even... I was gonna say... Mars sword is another, <laughs> another big thing that matters. One of the weird ones I don't like, is, I, I don't tell Melee Enjoyer, I don't like when links take me to this stage because of Falcon recovery. You know, I always put, your head ends up coming over top of the, the grab spot most of the times. Almost actually, like, there's nothing really you can do. With Link, you know, up B is his best kill option. His up B angles down. Oh, it's slanted, so it covers it. Wow. Yes. So anyone covering, coming in from low, unless you're riding the wall, like, it kills most characters. Whee! I knew that was a thing with Marth down tilt. But yeah, now that now that you put it out there, I guess it also works for... Oh, don't get me started on that Marth down tilt. <laughs> I got beef with that. I got beef with Marth's forward air specifically. Who would melee design team club? Yeah, that's okay. Just give it like no lag. Yeah. I have beef with Marth. <laughs> <laughs> I just I went silent and started thinking for a second. It's like oh uh, I, I with one thing, two thing, three thing, four. Thing. Wait a minute, it might just be the, the whole character. It's yeah, just throw, the character. throw out the whole character. Let's have Roy and Roy too. <laughs> All right, let's see if Stan... Ooh, good CC. I like the idea to go for dash attack just to mix it up, but David's got to be a higher percent so you can pop him up in the air. What? Crouch cancel tennis racket? I will say... New meta tech? He was reading the cross-up. If David... If, if Stan actually got all the way through with his cross-up on the nair, he would have gotten tennis racket straight off the stage. Oh, tr oh, It just reversed. I thought it was like an accident input left, but I think he actually read that. Or reacted. It was a forward tilt. Who knows? True. That's not exactly what Peach is done. Okay. Ooh, he's in the blender. It's getting dicey. Okay. Stan can pull something off here. You can get a lot of low percent kills against Peach on this are stage. Are we in best of five? Yes, yes we are. Oh, so okay, we're just yeah. chilling. Oh, another platform canceled back air. Oh, oh he's, he's living. living. Oh, he's, he's living. He's not living. He's not living. Okay. That's crazy so tech on Stan the gets one more try. Yeah. I wonder if he runs it back. While we have Maybe this stadium? Time. Maybe. I think you just run it back, Yoshi's. If you like, or I guess Fod's good for Peach. I don't know. I don't know what Peach doesn't want. I think it's just whatever you're feeling. Just not Dreamland or FD. If you're, if you're really it. confident. You know, yeah, okay. Yeah, back to him. Back yeah. here. Yeah, makes sense. So. All right, while we have this moment, I would like to go through my... Every week that I get on commentary, I start talking about food for a little bit. I'll tell you what, I can crush a hot dog right now. I was on keto for like seven months during the pandemic. Little did you know, you could just heat up two hot dogs in the microwave, and that's your keto snack. And I would go through like six hot dogs a day. The number went down on scale. Didn't look any better, though. <laughs> That, that gullet still stayed, just the number went down. I was like, that's weird. Ooh, where are you going, David? Ooh. Actually, what? Stan could have rolled it up and maybe gotten away with it rather than doing the back air, but we out here. Just let's keep just barely claw back on stage, and now she's a lot harder to get up. You know. Yeah. You had your chance. Oh, okay. Never mind. Hope too soon. <laughs> what do you think was going to happen standing right there? <laughs> 
boy. Oh, oh no! Right off the backboard. Yeah. Even Steven though. Oh yeah, true. Let's see. Can Stan push it to game four and then be sad because it's <laughs> probably gonna, gonna go FD. to FD or actually or Dreamland? Yeah, it's probably going to Dreamland. FD. I feel like David doesn't really go for FD much because I don't really see him do the chain grab much. He's not like. This is why anyone that's like David plays lame, I argue with, is because I don't ever see him go to FD and do the chain grab. I, I, he'll do it, but like that's not like a goal of his. A lot of his FDs against Space CC probably gets it only like once or twice. Stan, I think it's not good, Maybe he thought he had to jump there. Yeah. Also, let it quick callback. Jacket's still on. Yeah, oh, Jacket's still, still on. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, I think I think maybe he's, if he loses the game, maybe if he loses the yeah. game, then he's like, okay, you know, we're going into phase two of the boss battle. Yeah. Big slap. Randy. Oh. Oh, I like a helpful that. helpful face. I like that high side B. Completely put David out of the position. Just take center. What? Oh. Yeah, what a Peach's biggest weakness is, is she just moves slow. Yes. So if you, an unexpected side B over the top like that, she, it takes a while for her, especially vertically, to cover that distance. Yeah. Ooh. I love a Falco up smash. Then. <laughs> Very careful play, but well, okay. Looks like Stan is on. Oh. <laughs> Stan, still Saga, but Stan, where where do you think Game Four would take place? I Between think FD and Final Destiny, or FD and Dreamland. I I play. think David goes Dreamland. I think that he just doesn't feel like caring about Falco lasers, um, and I think that he just wants the extra space to survive. He's been surviving so well on Yoshi's. Imagine it on Dreamland, dude. True. Like, 19 though, that is game three. Let's see Jacket. Jacket cam. Uh, nope, stay on. Oh. All right. Stan, of course, just having a pullover. Yeah. Like Twitter, so there's no unzipping process. Stan looks clean. Yeah, Dreamland. Pay up. Great hearing. Whoever's in chat, I know you were hating on me. Pay up. <laughs> I called it. This gets significantly harder and slower now. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I was expecting FD at least the first one. Nah, I think he might go game five to FD. If but this doesn't work, I'll out very badly. Yeah. This is close. He sticks it out. Yeah, because I also, like, I was, I was thinking, Stan's not really getting his kills with down air. Like, that's the only, only, like, worry you have to have now. But, like, the I think, yeah, the platforms are helping Stan more than they're helping Dave. That's why I thought, like, just keep, that's true. keep the bird closer to the ground. Yeah, that's true. The other thing is, you know, Stan did double check, uh, chump check Yoshi, so maybe Stan's just like a, a like small stage kind of guy, and just be like, all right, well, that's the only info I have. Just kind of sure. biggest stage possible. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Oh, <laughs> the cojones and the turn of kills. The spacing and the snipe. That was so sick. Ow. Just stare death in the eye and say, hi, can I get one number four large Coke Zero? Think about chick fil A now. Number nine line. <laughs> you ever hear the, you know the McDonald's rap? I need I a know. double cheeseburger and hold the let that whole thing. I, I That's know. That's from, it's from like 15, it's like OG YouTube's. One guy, one chatter out there is gonna be like, <laughs> crispy. And it's like, yeah. Smack cam. Oh, these power shields. I, I, I just forgot where I was for a second. <laughs> I left the reality. David take it up to, uh, two stocks. And uh, Stan's going to find his way back, but David is going to make him fish for it. Yeah, now Stan's just kind of narrowing in, like trying to just approach, approach. And David oh. just... Yeah. Oh, the bird oh, saves Stan. We, we went for the... I'm just going to throw my life away if it, if it means the stock trade. Yeah. The downer don't work. Yeah, Dreamland really coming to play here. Just so annoying. Yeah. 189. Oh, all you can do is kind of just shoot me up. No, stay closing. <laughs> just throw it back here. Just start throwing back airs. There. 207. Still not dead. Yeah. yeah. And that's only one fourth of the battle. Oh, and it only took two and a half minutes. Yeah, well, that's, more than. that is time out pace. But I don't think it's necessarily because David's playing it really no. slow. It's just because he's surviving. That's all. It's good DI. I'm more so illustrating the monumentality of this uh, task in front of Stan. Yeah. <laughs> 
not only has to beat David, but he has to do it within this time limit. Yeah. It's a tough one, not gonna lie, but if anyone could do it, you know, Malachi probably could. But. <laughs> Yeah, Gabriel, you know, Gabriel, he's pretty good. I haven't yeah, seen him in a couple weeks. Yeah. Shout out to Gabriel here in chat. Shout out to... All right, let's see. Very, very dicey, really tight neutral, but not really much to go off of. Ooh, that kills! That's crazy. Wow. That's Just little... enough hit stun to get Peach you know, low enough. Yeah. That's what he needed. He needed to get the down air to get the kill, because, you know, anything else, David survived until 165. Uh oh, oh, good roll get up. Mm. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Stan, Stan oh, smiling. Oh, and a stitch. Oh, oh okay. Stitch, stitch drop. Stan's Stan yeah. smiling because he went to approach with laser, and it got uh, snapback and shot the wrong way. <laughs> and he's just like, all right, well, I died off of snapback. Cool. Certified by a thought moment. Yeah. Or switch the box. Or are Goomways still allowed? Uh, or are they super cheater? Actually, I, I think that I think they're super cheater. I don't know. I'd I know the Smash Box is like the super cheater thing. Yeah. Where you can just literally program all these angles. Yeah. You know, I would like the perfect firefly to leave that angles, please. Yeah. No, I I uh, I'm more of a go to a vendor and if it has pretty colors, buy it. Don't ask questions, kind of guy. <laughs> I like my donut. Oh, there's knockdown. What crazy guy. David able to react and grab the grab. Ooh, I like the straight down. That's double laser up smash. That ain't Fox. Okay. <laughs> Stan able to kind of claw this back a little bit. The percentage is kind of an issue. Finding the kill is going to be the issue. Surviving this is going to be the issue. Oh! 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 Stan! You had the world in front of you, and you've, you've, oh, oh no. Oh well, congratulations to David. Well fought, three-one victory. I think, th what? Did, I think David lost like a ton of his resources too. I don't know if he was. Did he have double jumps? Still? Uh, yeah, he still had his double jump. Okay, but okay, okay. Hypothetically, if Stan stayed on stage, you know. Right. Falco's down air just covers a lot of things. Right. He could have just even just run off down traded. there. And even if you're going to die off the other side to like a nair or something, Dave's going to die first off the bottom if you trade him down air, you know? True. Oh, that got dicey. Yeah. There you go. Who is up next? I'm so hungry. And every time you're saying you're hungry, I'm like, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Away. I'm on a cal caloric deficit. And I, 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 it's tough. Mm, I get you. Yeah. Well, okay. I also, Icy, young, and then I guess it's, who this tag be young one? Okay. I, I actually don't know. Uh, I played him. I should know, but uh, Peach Falco. Uh, yeah, I, wait, I've lost my train of thought. I, I, you know what the problem is? I keep coming here after eating Panda Express. <laughs> Every, legitimately, every day for the past, every Xanadu for the past seven months, Panda Express drives straight to Xanadu. Get a beef and broccoli plate with, it's plate with white rice, beef and broccoli, and uh, grilled chicken teriyaki. The problem is, Panda Express, you know how like Chinese food makes you like fake full, where you feel really bloated and full right when you finish eating it, and then an hour later you're hungry again? I don't know if you've heard of that. That's a thing on the internet, check it out kids. Um, that's me every week, and then I get here. I also get thirsty. I have a. <laughs> I'm just thinking about stuff now. I'm so zoned out. I'm just thinking about that. I'm a, I I drink a lot of water compared to other people. I like need I a brain water, water bottle. Yeah. I have a. I have a, the problem I have is my brain when I'm thirsty and hungry. When I'm thirsty, sorry. When I'm thirsty, it think it makes the same. It makes me feel like I'm hungry. So that's why I'm big. Cause I, I always like, I would eat like, ooh, triple lunch, let's go. And then I would drink one water bottle and be like, oh, I ate so much food. <laughs> and I realized I was like, oh, I should just start drinking water more. And I drink like a gallon and a half a day now. I used to have the problem where I would just drink so much water, I would have no electrolytes in my body. No. I, would, I would just get tired all the time. I don't, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting a full rest, you know. Yeah. Uh, it turns out, you know, drinking like two and a half gallons of water, two gallons of water sometimes, some days. Uh, this was back in like, my early days of college. You know, yeah. Like, I, I thought, oh, it's water. It's good. Yeah, water's water good goes, for you. I'm thirsty. I'll just keep drinking. And I just. 
when I stopped it, I, was, I realized, oh, okay, well. Well, Kaisi. That felt stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, until I did, I thought, I would have thought that was a good thing until I heard, like, oh, yeah, you could, there's water poisoning exists. And I was like, oh, don't get water poisoned. That freaks me out. It's like, and no, it's not like don't drink the Chesapeake Bay water. It's like, don't drink eight gallons of water. You will, I don't know, bleed out of your eyes or something. Anyways, Ty's each. <laughs> Trying to get back into this. I'm so close to two minutes in the match. Let's actually talk about how. <laughs> yeah. Though what I've seen, Tizy, he's been playing a lot better today. So maybe it's just this game one. He's in a little bit of a funk. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe I'm just not giving Young One enough credit. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe he's actually the goat, and then it'll make me feel better because I lost. Maybe him, just so. Goody Peach play just looks so quiet. It's like, oh, it's just it's nothing flashy. Do it's all the right things. Yeah. Oh, this could be a kill. And like that. Yep. It and then he just cleaned out from one interaction. Okay. I, I was completely discounting. Him. That's okay. true. Taizy also though is a, a hot and cold character, a uh, character player. <laughs> so when he gets going, he gets going. So we'll see if he can just start. He's a hot and cold player playing a hot and cold character. This is Falco. true. This is yeah. true. So. I want to I want to see if we're gonna get like an exact repeat of last set of Peach win, Peach win, Falco win, Peach win. <laughs> It'd be very funny. I will see if either of the players take off their jacket. Of course. That's yes. Tizzy looks. I like the I like the fit. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, they both have a similar fit. Just Tizzy's got the white and black. Young one's got the blue and black. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good fit. One being very, you know, committal off stage there to get that float in air. He had that one opportunity when Falco was firebirding, and you know, damn, he took the opportunity. <laughs> oh! Oh, good Unsafe coverage! Double jump? Get out of here. Ow. And the small stage for Falco doesn't quite mean much when, you know, Peach, who's not supposed to win the neutral. Yeah. That much just gets two wins, two neutral wins, two stocks, pretty much. Well, maybe not that, but really only a handful. Yeah, two stocks. Tyson, you taking one back though, back air. Ooh, steady laser. Don't want to be doing that. <laughs> Almost never. Oh, this is where Tyson cooks. You're in the corner. You're in his domain, and counter hit is good. Doesn't clean it up yet. No one is very, uh, um, uh, like. Very ha excited to, like, he'll use um, air dodge a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you see Peaches do it, but he does it frequently. So, I want to see if Tizzy starts adapting that. Tizzy also tying up the game. So. Maybe not a full repeat of last set when we get Peach, Peach, Falco, Peach, but when you stand in lazy like that. Oh, oh. Quite reach Randy. Oh. Scrandy. <laughs> Scrando. Scandinavian Randy. I like your haircut. Oh. Let's see. Ooh, down smash. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. I see, I see. Yes. Yes. Tizzy in a tough spot. Jab is going to knock him down, basically. Ooh, there's the air dodge again. Oh, good pressure. Is that kill? Oh, now he's fishing really hard. Oh. Yeah, you're right. You, a lot of air dodges to yeah. get out of these combos. Oh, good fast fall. Oh, soft hit up air. Ah, he went up air again, maybe? Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, didn't okay. matter. I okay. think he was worried about like soft hitting the up air and dying from it. So. Yeah. But but he de definitely needed to reach. But now Young One's at zero percent. Has the leeway. But no, Tizzy's cooking. Ooh, good patience now. Wow. Oh, no, it's those shy, shy guys. guys. Shy guys, shy guys, ah, shy, shy guys. guys. Ah, I love shy guys. I did a f silly thing uh, against uh, Melee Enjoyer today. Um, you know, you, you smash attack a, a shy guy, it like extends the hitbox. Um, uh, he dropped a bomb on a platform above me as Link, and I full charge up smash the bomb thinking it would extend my hitbox and it just blew up in my face oh. i mean yeah you hit the bomb it blows up but i just thought it would have been sick <laughs> but it yeah. would be sick yeah yeah Ooh, no resources no resources oh, oh but i yeah it was tight it was tight yeah hard to think that's the wrong decision in the moment yeah that one's taking an early stock, but Tyzee needs to stay on this. 
Yes. Ooh, okay. Yes. So Fair maybe enough. maybe this will follow the, the arc of the last set. Same characters. Yeah. Great shine to get Peach onto the top platform. Tongue one is just so slippery, you know, getting out of the pillar combos. I wish I could do this. <laughs> I play Peach I'm like I can't do like a third of, as well as this is getting out of yeah. pillar combos. He also has some really good, really cool like float uh, ledge dash movement. Not ledge dash. Um, slide off. I don't know. Whatever. Wave dash. Wave land. That's it. Like just like double jump wave lands that look all shifty like a snake. Yeah. Trying to. Peach doesn't move fast, so any little juke that you can get on your opponent, you know, when they're looking at their self or, you know, they're yeah. thinking about, you know, sometimes you can... <laughs> you get what you can take. Yeah, that's going to kill. A individual character like Fox, who has a lot of ways to mix up his movement very quickly. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You start clicking buttons. We are on pace to do exactly what last set did. Ooh, yeah, there you There's a platform double jump trick. Ooh, I love that wave land off. No tech. Zone. Oh, he didn't fast fall. Yawa, the read was there, yeah. Yawa was reading for fast fall down air, and uh, Taisi was like, ah, and dots it by doing nothing. It was sick. Don't, yeah. And yeah. there we go. Ed. Just like last set, the Peach wins two games. I think the only and then the Falco wins. One. I think the only difference from last set and this set, well, one, it's a lot faster, and two, I think game one was on battlefield for this one. I think David, uh, I've already forgot who played David, um, went to oh a stand. David Stan went uh, fod game one. Oh, and this is going FD. So I will say I have seen Tyzy cook on FD. Um, I it's you know. Ooh, that's not gonna be if it. you fall you're out without your doubles of right into that back air. That's unfortunate. I will say that the uh ooh. throw down smash a certified classic. Da oh, down throw, good choice. Oh, oh that's, that's gonna do it, yeah. Decisive with the float nair. You know, if you're one chance to do that when Falco's right there. Ooh, easy. No, it's a little easier with Falco than it is with Fox, where you have to worry about the, the flames when it first comes out. You need to take off. It's a whole thing. Now, if you're Tizi, what do you do here? I'm just hopping off anyways. No. <laughs> you can hop off too if you want. I, I guess it. we are PS4. <laughs> no, I, I'm going home. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, I gotta play some friendlies, maybe get some McDonald's. Yo, Arrive stop. home at 12.30 a.m. I should have gotten that egg roll from the end, dude. It's not too late. Ooh. Yeah, there's that slippery movement, double jump movement. <laughs> oh, crouch canceling and smash at like 120 some percent. Well, that must be really frustrating with the Kaisi. Back air gets killed. Finally, get killed. Kaisi, does he have the mental? Don't it. What a float! She must have been off the mix of the timing coming down. Yeah. It's spaced perfectly to dodge up tilt, too. Oh, silly lasers. Shoot him up a bit. Ooh, if that laser connects. But that reversal might just do it. Oh, yeah. good back air, man. Takes a set. Two games. And, hey. Oh, yes, yes. Here's what. Yes. Um, we have an announcement. Uh, not that I don't know if this is a new announcement or anything, but we need it marketed more because uh, everyone doesn't know this until the week of Xanadu Legends. The Xanadu Monthly is going to be March 9th for the month of March. So if you want to play at the monthly, uh, come out Saturday, March 9th or Sunday. I don't know. I don't have a calendar in front of me. But yeah, uh, check it out. Uh, look at that. We got even got a little graphic for it. Um, you know. Register ahead of time. Yeah, register ahead of time. Talk to your friends, make plans, and... Uh, bring your friends. Get your friends to bring friends. Yeah, no, it's a good time. I just always forget about it, so don't be me, and yeah, get after it. I'm going to go home now and get some food. Godspeed to Tizy... Wait, no. <laughs> David Ryan. I guess I'll stay on for one more set. Why not? And joining me will be Johnny Lawrence. Ryan MC. I guess we're going Sheep Peach first game. 
Winners finals between Ryan, Ravens fan 31, Arizona Sweet Tea. Uh, A man of many names. <laughs> yeah. Most well known for uh, being a great Sheik player. Uh, he's very intimidating to play against. Who also looks a bit like Ganondorf. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess he does. So Minecraft David, so far in the lead here. Good Nair. Is that actually what that for? Is it actually Minecraft David? No, it's Montgomery County David. Oh, okay. I, yeah. was, I was hoping. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming it's uh, because there used to be another David from, oh, you know, yeah. I don't know, like George... Uh, Georgetown or freaking Alexandria or somewhere else in the uh, NBA the region. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's uh, MC David and then, uh, uh, you know, DJ David. But we got a uh, still no kills on the board yet. That's, one minute yeah, gone. Ryan had a couple chances there to kill David. Oh, oh there you go. That's a simple one. Yeah. And as a Sheik, uh, so you, you play both these characters, right? Yeah. What are you looking for in this matchup with both characters? Uh, Sheik, is, you are you're being extremely careful not to get down. Uh, crouch cancel. Look. Well, down smash is obviously what's going to come after, but there are other things. You crouch cancel grab, just crouch cancel dash attack. But like you really, if you're going to try to aerial her, fall, it's going to have to be the very tip of your back air. You're looking for a lot of... And uh, the number one way most characters beat Crouch Cancel is just grabbing. Yeah. And she gets a lot of on Peach off of grabs, so that's a big part of your game plan. True, true. And just keeping her off the ground so she can't Crouch Cancel. Sometimes just throwing in a jab and keeping Peach up in the air so she can't just hold, hold down. True. And then on the Peach side of things, uh, my guess is just keep Sheik away. Uh, throw turnips, I'm assuming. How does how does uh, Sheik deal with turnips, would you say? Like, how well? Really, she kind of has to hit them back or just evade them. It doesn't really, like, really, I, I don't think forward tilt does super well in them. I, maybe I just don't try. Oh, had oh, a stitch there. Oh, but he pulled another turnip, so he couldn't quickly just run over and grab that one. True, true. At least threw it away. Uh, did some shield damage, put some pressure on, but MC David is down. Oh, and as they say that, uh, tied right up. He was looking for that back air right there on ledge, knowing that Ryan wants to get a bit aggressive getting back to stage. Doesn't want to give up this lead. Oh, another one. That's going to do it. That stitch coming in clutch for MC David doesn't need oh, the first one. It? Oh! And just like that, the game reverses, and MC David takes game one. I'm actually going to hop out here real quick. I'm sorry about that. No, no problem. I can handle a little, little solo. As we go into game two here on Pokemon Stadium here. So we got an opening... See, I, I was talking through this, and then I'm like, wait a minute, is that Ice Climbers on my screen? Is that Ices? Which is weird, because Ices does pretty bad in the beach, but I guess... Um, I have no explanation for this. Uh, unless they, like, swapped mains? No, but MC David's port for... I, I am super confused. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess he's pulling up Baltimore Ravens, and he's, uh, you know, he's Ravens fan 91, so he's emulating his Ravens by, uh, you know, he's passing the ball. It's, it's, Ice Climbers is like passing the ball for the Ravens in the uh, championship game against, uh, uh, you know, MC David standing for uh, uh, main Chiefs David, or uh, uh, Mahomes Chiefs David, you know. So Ryan, Ryan trying to pass the ball against the Chiefs right here. Uh, we'll see how it works out. It's a bold strategy gun. As we have a Mr. Saturn floating in the sky. Floating sky high. Great movie, by the way. Goaded. Super underrated. Oh, oh the double. Double back air. The little uh, element of surprise working out for Ryan so far. Oh, I love the way those blocks just bounced right into MC David's lap. 
trying to just ice him out right here. 142%, 152%, and a lot can kill here. Although that straight down smash might, or, or it could just be a up smash there from Nana, as that kills. Nana taunting too, feeling frisky, as MC David just resetting a bit. So four stock, or three stocks to two right here. Good little sequence there from MC David, but gets hit by the ice blocks, the ice triangles, icebergs. MC David's heart, though, still going strong, still going on. Because we have a fair here. Up air. Oh, the brutal down smash there. Might tie it up there. Yeah, good turn up snipe. And Ryan trying for uh, the Hail Mary play, but uh, MCD would not going to give him the nair space and be able to attack and get back on. So tied up right here, but 100% on David. David playing this well. Oh, I like the drop down there, but still, Ryan playing very disciplined in shield. Just going up in the sky, trying to make it so those heels hit the top of the dome for the Ice Climbers. Forward air. Let's try that again. Try those ice blocks. You know, vanilla in here. But tries the forward air in the nair, double nair. Up throw. Oh, what is he looking for? Throws it up. Another turn up. And that is going to do it. So, two stocks to one here. Ryan in the lead. Oh! You play it? Very, uh, very disciplined game. Oh, as I say that, gets hit with the golf club. Let's go golfing. We have a nair, in there, up into the air, into the sky, and into the blast zone, as we have a tie game here, last stock. Oh, grabs, crucial. Every single grab for Ice Climbers is crucial, baby. So 72% for Ryan. You much would rather play in the lead than you would behind. And it's looking like, yeah, gets the up air. Ryan beating MC David with the Climbers. Taking the momentum right back in the set. As uh, both players laughing it off here, we got a uh, little goofs. It's going back to the uh, to the chic. Don't want to play ice climbers on this stage. Uh, but Ryan tying it up and getting all the momentum back now. All the pressure is on David. Ryan playing this well. Good nair. Oh, but gets down smashed. Does Ryan? Back throw. Like that. It's a good turn up movement. Good down smash. And that backer was crucial for Ryan to get back on. Still gets damaged, but 116% is better than losing a stock. Down smash. Oh, good forward tilt, but the trade there from MC David so crucial. Percent. That's one thing that has helped out David this entire tournament so far. We get the triple jabs into the forward air. Still not going to kill. Uh, or triple pummels, may I say. Hey, hey. But anyway, back to this melee that we have here between these two. I shoot two twos into a down throw forward air. But not going to kill. Got 150% here. Pretty even. Ryan trying to separate a bit and gets that bear to the face of MC David. We got four stocks and three. And we got a tie game. As soon as I say that, we are all tied up, ladies and gentlemen. So three stocks to three here. Forward air. Good doubles. Good double slaps from McDavid. Connor. Go. Forward air. Oh, good throw. Up or back throw. Oh, was trying to sneaky little ledge play there. Unfortunately, 
who's none the wiser to the fact that Ryan would recover. But Ryan, Ravens fan 31, still in it with this stock, 115%. Back air, another back air. Oh, good down smash. Oh, the snipe. Three stocks to two now. MC David in the lead. Oh. This is good. Forward tilts. Oh, good job there. And gets the up air. That is going to do it. So now Ryan tying it up, two stocks to two. Showing a little movement flare here, escapes. Fitzbilly has run out. Oh, put him in the corner too, but good turn of play there from MC David. Gets the grab though, does Ryan. Ryan gets the forward or poke right there. He was looking for the back air, nonetheless. Gets the down throw into the fair. Was looking for the double fair, doesn't get it there. Double back air, okay. Interesting choice here, but MC David just holding center. That was a good power shield. The double, the triple. I guess the Nair there too gets him off guard. So now 121% here. He's just gonna crouch down. Little DBZ moment there, but uh, not enough percent for either to really go flying. So it's uh, more like, uh, you know, a Krillin mirror match, you know? Good down smash there to break it up. No one is immune to that one. As MC David with that Gretzky percent on a sleeve. Now gets pummeled almost to death there from Ryan. If he was facing the other way, maybe it would have worked. Without. The drift. Messing him up. The power. Oh. Who's he looking for? Oh, good forward air. That is going to do it. So now one stock to one right here. We're on our final stock of this final game three for Canterbury Advantage. The second two. Oh, looking like ultimate sheet there. Those fairs. Just a bit too out of the grab range, but 94%. Oh, yeah, that's going to be it. One last shot at life here. Oh, that was so clutch. And puts him off stage too. Reverses it. Another down smash. Hits the way MC David wants. And MC David reversing, spinning that game around again and takes it. So now we have a game four. And Ryan looking to switch it up again here. Goes Marth. Oh, I've never seen the Ryan Marth. Going uh, Yoshi story too. Classic goes the... Uh, Default skin, the PPMD. But MC David starting out strong. 72% here on this Marth. Uh, interesting choice, too, since he's down. Uh, oh. Yeah, I got down smash there, so that is going to be it. Four stocks to three right now for MC David. Make a David. See if he gets uh, some of the luck of the Irish here with uh, any turn up pulls. Uh, so far, we've seen two stitches game one, and that's been it. But we got a down throw. Was looking for the double slap, but gets slapped in the face by that sword of Marth. Another sword slap right there. Was looking for the triple back air, but nonetheless, MC David actually coming out on top there. Still not taking any stock losses. Oh, kind of like the idea from there, there from Ryan, but nonetheless. Ooh, a little mix-ups there. Good forward smash there from Ryan, and that is going to close out that first stock finally. Oh, might get another. Mark always good at stealing stocks off stage, but good air dodge there from MC David. Oh, but that Nair going to do it. So now three stocks to one here. Good forward smash. That is going to do it. So now two stocks to one here. Ryan trying to make a little comeback, but if he does not, then MC David is going to be 
in Grand's winner side. Good grab there. Down smash. Oh. Forward air. Oh, the snipe. It's gonna just do that little bit of extra damage. Wants to look for the dare here. Not gonna get it. MC David just playing patient, not giving him anything. And that is going to be it. MC David taking it 3 1 over Ryan. Raymond fan thing earned those we did. But yeah, congrats to MC David. Second Xanadu in a row. Second Xanadu in winner's finals or grand finals winner side. So yeah, we uh we uh we're excited. We're very excited to uh to again, like the others were saying be hosting uh, Legends on March 9th. I think we, you know, the last one we, did, we didn't do the, the best job of uh, advertising. So uh, we will uh, implore all of you out here, most of you in chat, I assume are MDVA. Uh, if you want to, come out to uh, Legends on March 9th. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my co-commentator, Convex. But yeah, we got uh, up next, I'm pretty sure Stan... Is uh, is up next? I'm pretty sure Stan's Stan's made it here. I would be surprised if Stan is not in this spot. And uh, we will see who his opponent is going to be. I do not have bracket up yet, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, come out to Legends on March 9th. Always hosting this venue. It's always a lot of fun. And uh, usually, we uh, open up a bit more uh, space for for some setups. Xanadu is always good with that. So if you're uh, out, even if you're out at 0 2, you know what I mean? Uh, it's good to get the experience, and you'll find friendly setups pretty easily. Uh, but yeah, up next we got Stan versus Jung Wong. Uh, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, but we have the, uh, the two uh, sort of like newcomers here, as we have uh, my good friend Zrick coming in on the, the mic. What's up, Eric? We got a uh, Falco Peach. Uh, yeah, we got the the two newcomers too. I mean, I feel like uh, these two have taken the uh, Xanadu by storm. Yeah, uh, John Wong is from uh, California. I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Stan over here or something temporarily, and uh, Stan is like here for work. Yeah. And they're new from Florida too. From Florida. Yeah. And Texas. And Texas. Yeah. 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 Stan. Uh, Playing in pretty too, pretty hard regions to play in, so no surprise that he's uh, also taking MDBA by storm. Yeah. Beat uh, MC David last Xanadu in a uh, nail biting set. Peach Falco uh, game ten grands, <laughs> uh, which was even crazier because he, Stan was literally down like I believe it was like two stocks to one, down 0-2 in the second set, and it looked like MC David was just gonna take it pretty easily. It was either first set or second set, and then Stan just brought it back by the skin of his teeth. Uh, well, uh, Don Wong is kind of like really dash dance heavy as a peach. You know? True. They're like dash dancing around under the platforms, waiting for you to go in. They're good against lasers. They've been power shielding all day. Uh, and their punish game is also pretty, pretty good too. All right. Yeah. I think the onus is on Stan for this uh, game. I see if they can like pull anything out. True. Their pocket. Well, they're pretty good right now. Yeah, Stan, a player who uh, is a big believer in this matchup. Most, because uh, Stan has a Fox, so you would, you would think yeah. that Fox, you just go Fox for this matchup. Uh, but no, uh, Stan, Stan's a big believer that Falcon can do it against uh, against Peach. Actually, they were uh, warming up the Fox earlier. Uh, oh, really? Before I uh, played friendly with one against their Fox, and then like we switched back to Falco. So hopefully, I didn't ruin the Fox warm up for them. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> So we got a uh, three stocks to two game here. Stocks already flying. Gets the Nair. 140% still not going to kill, though. Gets the Nair there. Good recoveries. Yeah. Staying alive. Ooh, the Nair there, though, going to kill as we have a two stocks to two game here. Jun Huang finding a good opening. But Stan reaching high. and Good laser pressure, too. Does mess up the laser there, though. Yeah, Stan's gonna be coming down with like full hop lasers right on the ground because it's like just threatening with an aerial and whatnot. They do it a lot. So they get the double lasers. Oh, 
little interesting sequence there. But we have uh, some good power shields here from Jun Huang. Leads into a conversion. He's looking for the up air, but uh, good uh, tough back from Stan. Just in there. He's looking for the turn up. Oh, shit. Oh, that ledge snap. We get. Oh. Both of them seeming to just like miss each other just by a little bit. Yeah, they're both really tricking each other like crazy. Ooh, I like the laser's eye. That was a really good back air going over that get up attack. That tilt too. Yeah, I was about to say up to up to the kill, kill yep. here. And the uh, it all led into that because that forward tilt actually uh, clip shield. Damn. I don't know what that down tilt was for. It's kind of like really. Uh, High risk, low true. reward. <laughs> true, true. How, how does the down tilt uh, stats work? Is it just normal, or are there any special properties? It kills. It also goes through crash cancel, kind of. Mm. Kind of not really. <laughs> so it's like a bit higher percent than like another crash cancel. At 22%, person. I think they would go over crash cancel. Oh, OK. But so. I think they could have slide off there. But John Wong got a, got a grab, and everything's turned around for them. That Nair going to most likely? No, get a lunch now. Oh, come on! It's close. That dip down there, too. So clutch. <laughs> the scrubby side B. True. Yeah, Jump Wong, uh. Bend it all. Yep. But Stan, uh. is one for comebacks. Like, I, I will say, Stan, the sort of player that just keeps the pedal on the gas, even if he's uh, losing badly. Uh, the first two games, you can't quite kill him until you uh, put the knife in. That's some crazy pressure. Forward air is good, but... Is it dash attack? <laughs> no, I just press forward A on the dash uh, the stick. True. This guy's going back and forth. No uh, tennis, though. Ooh. Down smash. Down with C-stick. So good for this character. Damn. As uh, actually, I must note, as Symphony says, uh, Jump Wong actually playing uh, Daisy uh, in this match. Yeah, the Daisy color. The Daisy. Not my favorite, yeah. uh, but you know, some people like it. Yeah. Some pretty chill people, I think. Oh, that was close. Nice one. Randall, uh, hitbox is just not working for him. Yeah, Stan's been pretty damn aggressive. Like, they're staying out of range for a little bit, getting a laser, and then just going in. True. Uh, John Wong saw that, crash cancel, and pressed down the C-stick, so it's even. Yeah. Now, Stan is a, the player that... I, I talked to him uh, last Xanadu after he won, and he's, like, all about, okay, I'm going to stick to my strengths. It's not about, like, uh, being that much of an all-rounder. It's more like, what am I good at? I'm going to keep getting better at that and just stick to being me. Like, stick to an identity. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, win or lose, he's gonna be him. So it's it's your, it's your on the opponent to uh, either out aggress him, which is pretty tough, uh, or just find those little defensive sweet spots where you can counterattack. Ah. Double jump gets caught by Nair, and uh, Jung Wong's up. Three stocks to one on Stan's counterpick. True. But we have seen this before in that MC David set where uh, Stan went on Yoshi's, lost, and then uh, got the 3-0 uh, comeback. Stan's moving quick. Gets hit by a racket. Yeah, Jung Wong playing like a racket right now. Gets the up throw down. Ooh, the Nair. Waited out the counter attack too, but Stan's still reversing it. Yeah, John Wong's seen that Stan's like doing high aerials on shield, just like the dash dance, shield, and they grab you. Oh, the reverse up tilt too? The pressure. Upper not gonna work there. Damn. Oh. Ooh, good nair. Another nair. Doesn't really cover anything with that edge card, but. Should be dead here. Yeah, that's a dead bird. That is going to be tough. As uh, Chung Wong is now uh, one game away from eliminating Stan. But I'm thinking the Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. I thought so. Yeah, back against the wall. Who are you going to call? Number one on the tier list, baby. <laughs> so we have game three here at Pokemon Stadium. I saw that sigh. I'm like, oh man, Fox. They're feeling it. Choo. 
fox uh, Yeah, right? their fox is crazy. But I was just against uh, my Falco, so who knows how it is against this Peach. Yeah. Uh, so far, Jim Wong making work of him. Kind of SDIing out early, which I think is a good way to establish control against Fox. Because if you're DIing in against them early, like, and you can just get those, like, you know, dare and a nair and a shine and back into a, a nair, back into shine. Just stuff like that where you can just kind of free flow on Peach. That sets the tone early for Fox to just be able to go ham. And it's almost more comfortable for Fox mains, especially for Fox main like Stan. So I think the DI so far from Jung Wong has been really good to establish control here. Yeah. He takes that stock. Uh, we got four stocks to three right now as we have a little transformation coming up. The Rock. Stan is kind of flailing. Yeah. Jung Wong knows that. It's just like a little down smash. Nothing to do about it. There we go. Up smash gets the kill. Uh, let's see if we can. Yeah. Oh shoot, they're going back in. I believe that was. A, that might have been a stitch too from Jung Wong. Oh. Oh. Little shenanigans. Oh, I would have loved to see that up air kill. Nonetheless, still 81%. That was but, pretty good. Yeah. Turn the tides. It's even now. Choo choo. Up against by now. <laughs> good recovery. That was wild. Yeah, it doesn't get the shine there. Yeah, it's kind of like a fake shine. No one actually goes for that unless they're crazy. Oh, the forward air into the up smash. Love that from Stan. Turns it around. Three stocks oh, at two. Ground. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what he's going for there. That was a hard position. Yeah. You know, I say that though, but like, you know, the lower down you are, the more you see that situation where you're just like, you can't choose between two things, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> you're just like, ah. The more you're in that position, the, the better you do. Good angle, but messes up the ledge dash, gets grabbed for their troubles. Back to neutral. Ooh, that was a good movement sequence there from Jim Wong. That is going to do it. So now stand on tournament stock here. Uh, I don't know. It's just looking pretty tough. Yeah. This is like an unwarmed up straight off of Falco Fox. You know, it's looking fine, but yeah. not doing the aerials that they need. Doesn't get the wave dash out of uh, shine. Yeah. Oh, infinite. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I've seen no throw game too that, from from Stan. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of a hard one. It's not really getting. Uh, Jung Wong into the shield to get the grabs. Yeah. It's not pressuring hard enough there, but. Yeah, this is looking tough. Like, I mean, Stan is a comeback artist, Maestro, but Jun Wong trying to put the curtains down on the Cinderella run. Cinderella story. That's a kill? No. Yeah, it was good, it's DI. A good DI. Yeah. No more interaction. No more fun. Yeah. <laughs> Some interesting airs. This title defense looking really bleak. 123%, but does get the up smash, and anything can happen against Peach on this stage. Oh, this is a loser's bracket. Dang. Yeah, this is a loser's. Stan All these got, players are really good. Stan got eliminated by MC David. Back. That is going to do it. Jun Huang yeah. eliminating last week's Xanadu champion. Dang. Two really good players. Uh, Could have gone either way, but Jun Huang takes it 3-0. Yep, yep. Now uh, we got Stan, uh, Stan out at fourth after after winning, and uh, Jun Huang, we got a we got it. No foxes left, no spaces. Uh, we just got. Is it just? Yeah, we got Peach, Sheik Peach, Peach, Peach. Sheik Peach. Uh, <laughs> so well, uh, yeah. I, for one, enjoy Peach to those. <laughs> true, true. Well, I think with Ro with um, Jun Huang, does, does Jun Huang have any secondaries? I haven't seen any. I've yeah. only seen Peach. Yeah, actually, yeah, low-key, we're going to see a Peach Ditto if he can uh, make it to the Grands. Yeah, but uh, I have no idea what character Ryan, Ryan plays. Ryan plays Sheik. Sheik. Yeah. They haven't been showing it off. They've been going, like, Marth. True. Uh, <laughs> Young Link. He went Sheik uh, against MC David. For like one game, probably because I looked over their Martha guy and I lost against. No, it was it was 
two games, but you know what's funny though? Ryan, the only game that he took against MC David was freaking Ice Climbers. He just went Ice Climbers on Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, and famously won. a good matchup for, uh, <laughs> for Ice, ice Climbers, all right? <laughs> Makes no sense. All right, going to Sheik though. No more messing around. Yeah, Ryan means business. Not even smiling. Because Ryan, Ryan, usually when he plays, he smiles a ton. It's yeah, fun I'll to see. smile too, but I'm stunned on kids with young women. True. <laughs> true, true. A good down throw forward air. You know what's crazy about Ryan too is uh, he plays uh, ultimate and actually like top eights ultimates as well. Actually, I legit, I legit think he's won an ultimate Xanadu as well. What do you think of this matchup? I feel like this is Sheik favorite. He just seemed to be able to do it. Yeah, this is uh, yeah Sheik favored, but I think Peach. It's probably like 55-45 Sheik, but I think yes. Nice grab. Nice power Sheik. Ryan's kind of just like running away and then poking and then going in for a grab and killing. True. I feel like John Wong's gonna need to make some big guesses. And I gotta say this, right? I, I haven't said this to you yet, but doesn't Ryan kind of look like Ganondorf? You're squinting a little bit, sure. Kind of. Like, he kind of looks. He low key kind of looks like Ganon. Certainly, Ganon energy. Ganon energy. Not yeah, in like 100%. In a he, weird way. He's a <laughs> big dude. My man's a big dude, and he plays big, too. He plays his size. Back air wall. Or tilt up air. Like, Ryan, this sort of person who I feel like would also be into me. Like, even if this was, like, real sports. We eat sports, but if this was real sports, I wouldn't want to go up against Ryan on the uh, on the gridiron. If you know what I mean? Dang, Ryan kind of running away with this one. True. Oh, I love the needles. Gets the grab into the forward tilt. Doesn't get the up air there, though. Does get the dash attack, but gets nared out of it. Forward air. Can't be lane she's getting away with that forward air. Oh, I love the spacing there, though. Jung Huang getting the down smash. What do you do here? I feel like this is... That's ah, okay. Uh, Jung Huang just... An edge guard, looking for a comeback, but Ryan's like, nope, nope. I got back air and forward air, and I missed forward air. Yeah, that was actually pretty risky. Jump Tech chase, down, smash. Oh, the grab. Over a little more. Uh, does need to reach a tiny bit, but does get that back air. Every percent is going to matter here. Ah, oh, a little too low. Yeah, I think Jun Wong, if he had committed to it fully, could have grabbed there, but I think he like hesitated just a tiny bit. Nah, he was too low. I think he hesitated think... pressing the up B button, but he was yeah, too low to begin with. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had to be like frame per... Yeah, I mean, any either way, it looked like Ryan was just going to run away with that one, so... Yeah, you never know, though. Yeah. You know, two down smashes the Peach, and it could have been even. True, true. Yeah, we saw... The way that Ryan lost to MC David was literally just that. Or just getting down smash three times in a row. Yeah. Dash attack. Yeah. As we're going to see FD. Oh. Ah. Uh, Icy. Icy. Uh, FD. All right. Actually, you know what? I kind of don't get this one. I feel like Pokemon Stadium has, like, good enough blast zones to where I can see this being justified. Not an like, I understand picking your icy secondary is like everyone saying it's like Jigglypuff like Peach. Like really? I don't know. Are you trying to win this up? I think it's reverse logic. Oh that yeah. And that that combos? Oh wait, no no no. Ryan won that first game. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean So I'm just like Yeah, I'm like Jung Wong going F D. Is she really that? Is she really that bad on this stage against Peach? No, it's just slower. I don't think. Maybe he doesn't want to like play a sh uh, slow game of Sheik. True. I would go Marth here though. I feel like that's like even more entertaining. Maybe just seeing him get railed. <laughs> you know, just having that Peach. They're like every move Peach is like just separates the ICs. You know, <laughs> it's yeah. like you can press any button. I mean, it really. Jab. Forward yeah. smash, down smash, air, back air. Really feels like Peach just, you know, just puts the strap on and just like going to town right now. It's just, come <laughs> on. Down smash, down smash. Down smash oh, who's got the best of stick? Love to see that a bit more. And just go, da, 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 down smash, down smash. Do, 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 do. 
Ooh. Right. Gets killed there. Only three stocks to one. Another two minutes left in this game, so we can watch real melee again. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Ooh, that was a really good dash out, good dash back in. Yeah, making sure that uh, Ryan has to uh, worry about his own life with the uh, Popo so that, oh, that Nana can again. go off stage. That's the grab. Does that lead to up smash? Not bad. Oh, man. Maybe it isn't that bad. Not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Not that bad. Don't they get like a chain grab at zero against Peach? So like Sheik? Uh, I think Sheik. Yeah, we had the uh, the Zane Climbers era. Yeah. Uh, tried it out on MDBA. Worked. Tried it out against good players. Did not work. <laughs> good player meaning like only left him. <laughs> left and shoot. That's why That was wild. Like a wild little period where it was like, oh, Marth just, uh, your Fox can just not beat Marth. I'm going to go Sheik. Well, I'm going to go Icy's because Marth can't beat Sheik on FT. And then Cody's like, Fox actually wins. Oh, Fox. Actually, actually, Fox actually wins. Yep. No, you don't know. If actually, Fox wins. He does win. Best character. Fox is actually undefeated. And what? I'll figure this out later. And you can figure this out earlier than I can. Yeah, you know, but Fox playing Guilty Gear. He doesn't have time to play a real game. True. Doesn't have time to the go to the lab. <laughs> It's actually so wild how bad Marth does. Or how bad Fox does. No, actually, I think it's even. Actually, the Marth wins. This is pretty dang close. Uh, I feel like Ryan should be playing better with Popo than both Nana and Popo. True. Just the classic Ice Climbers experience. You know? yeah. One Next thing I will say, though, is if Ryan wins this, that'll be emotional damage oh. on him. Up smash? Oh, oh. Almost. It was a good DI by Jung Wong. Yeah, Jung Wong has to win this oh. one. You cannot lose the solo climbers. Smash. Yeah. And he does. He, oh, Ryan no. Ryan copied off a little bit. Jung Wong laughing it off. Yeah. Doesn't feel good, though. No, nah, that's that's going to be pain. Yeah. yeah that's, uh, you can see uh, the pain inside. Yeah. No. yeah, he's going back to the Sheik. He got the one game on FD. He's like, all right, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> no more of this. Now, how funny would it be if Jung Wong wins this? He just turns it around. <laughs> anything could happen. Oh, with that combo, anything could happen. Jump yeah. Wong in the lead right now. 32% to 64. He's going to game three on Fender Dreams. Fender Dreams is a good stage for uh, Peach simply because of the C stick. Yeah, you just okay. press down smash on those low platforms. And she kind of gets hit by it. Choo choo. I don't think this is that bad of a stage for Sheik here. Yeah? Yeah. Kind of just like a wall out of back air if you're getting in a good position. Yeah, that's a down smash. Platform a little too high to catch the up smash. Up smash a little too high to hit the beach. True, true. But we have a down throw forward air as Ryan has evened up the stock count. Does get back aired, forward aired, or up naired there. Nice grab. Just going for damage. They're like, yeah, screw it. <laughs> I need you and down throw forward air percent. Little DBZ moment, but uh, a mini one. It's more like a Krillin mirror match. <laughs> Krillin mirror match. Krillin's good in uh, DBZ fighters. Yeah, true. A bit more like in the show. Yeah. yeah. Dark. Would it be Dark Krillin? Would it be Dark Dinner? <laughs> what would, uh, it's what like, is uh, Counterpart be? Darker. <laughs> this is alt color, which is alt Krillin. Yeah. Blue Krillin. Yeah. Evil Krillin. Policeman Krillin. Police, yeah. Nice grab. Tall Krillin. Ooh, gets it by the down smash for the troubles. All that. All that advantage. Gone. But sticks out the ledge. Then we got the grab. Forwarding. I was looking for the needle, but actually too far. This is kind of a weird matchup because I feel like crouch cancel fucks up both of them. <laughs> so they're both like crouch cancel each other's moves and counter hit each other. True. Well, oh, ah. I, I think Sheik would have that advantage because I mean Peach being so light, 
There's a lot that can just break or crash cancel. Is that all Peach can do there? Just down smash? That's all Peach can do. Dude, sometimes this character is kind of like, you do so much and then you finish it off with the dumbest move. Dang, that was a good uh, ledge grab, ledge hawk. No one that. That was gonna kill there. Ooh. A little float. Which I want to be a little more aggressive, but Ryan slowing it down again to grab. Another grab. How sick would it have been if you got double four there? Oops. Grab. Jowan has to get this, otherwise he's out of the tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Jowan's playing pretty good right now. Oh, long get up. They're like playing grounded footsies. Yeah, I guess that Nair, that might be it here. One last shot. Yeah, that's going to be it. Chung Wong on the board. 2 1, 2 1. 2 1. Uh, I think the Sheik's staying here. No, we're going Icy's again. <laughs> he's, he's like, you know what? Screw it. Right? No. Okay. He oh, wants to show that he can do it with the Sheik. You know, it's not that bad a matchup. One, you know, Icy's is so good against Peach, but, you know, Sheik, you know, everyone's saying Sheik can't do it, you know? <laughs> you know, but getting back to Bizarro World here, we got. <laughs> or Normal World. We got Cheek versus Peach. Game four on Pokemon Stadium. Now, do you know why the Pokemon Stadium counter pick was picked? To this um, probably doesn't want to play on Yoshi's. Already won on Battlefield. Uh, doesn't want to play on Dreamland. So it leaves Pokemon. Choo choo. Yeah, you can get an early kill. Actually, you know what? That might be a good reason why. It gets an early kill off the top. 35% too. Maybe Just they're saving. There's no reason to say Yoshi's. Yeah. So I probably don't like it. Yeah. So, Jung Won, uh, Dash Dance Heavy Peach. Uh, Peach having a small range for that down smash, but still having a lot of options of where to go with it on uh, Yoshi's story. I feel like that might factor in. Also, down smash. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just don't want to get clipped by down smash and just die at like 50. Choo -choo. Speaking of uh, dying early, right now Ryan making uh, Jung Won sweat here. Four stocks to two. Making him die early. Yeah, they're kind of just picking their spots well. Oh, that's. Is that going to be a four stock? All of a sudden, turns it right around. Not even two minutes down on the clock yet. Ooh, the Charm Skills percent. Still let's just Kelsey press percent. that C stick. Still a Kelsey percent. <laughs> oh, he's mocking Taylor Swift. Have to be, actually, she'd have to be blonde to be swift, but... Ooh, that's one. Yep. Can we see three more? <laughs> yep. He's gonna have to do it. This has been a short game. It's only two minutes in. Two. This game not afford a trade. just needs to pick his spots well. So Joe Wong's like, I am dash dancing. Good there, punish. There you go. Back here. Let's repeat. There you go. Gets That's another stock. Ryan only had like 10% from back here. Yeah. Up here. Yeah, yeah that's, that's going to be it. it. All right. Ryan taking a pretty clean 3 1 and uh, going back in the grand finals. Oh, Gonna man. have a rematch. Congrats to John Wong for third place, though. Yeah, no, John Wong defeating Stan, uh, defeating Tai Z. Uh, doing a, having a good showing here. Yeah. Uh, he played really well. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, uh, that Icy's set, uh, or Icy's game just kind of turned Ryan the momentum. just kind of like took it back. He was losing most of that game. Yeah. You know, and he was like, you know what, forget, I'm just gonna down throw to of smash you at 100 and kill you. True, that's true. It. Yeah. I mean, that's what I was saying. I was like, because I mean, wins the first game to Xiong Huang. Yeah. Ryan, uh, game two. Or actually, no, 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 no. Ryan won the first game, right? Ryan won the first game. Ryan won the second game. Ryan, Ryan won, won the third game. Yeah. And Ryan but won the fourth game. It looked like it was like, okay, it didn't oh, make any sense. Oh, they're going right into uh, Ice Climbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. It's working for him. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Grand Finals here, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan from Loser's Side, MC David from Winners. These two faced off in Winners Finals. Uh, oh. I'm sure you can see the graphics, but for you Twitch viewers at home, we are getting into it here. Zrick on the mic with me, Johnny Lawrence, as we have a opening 
Popo, uh, solo Popo here. Uh, MC Davis got to be uh, scared here because Ryan's Popo is the best version of his ice climbers. <laughs> oh, we see Ryan with the... Uh, Ryan took off his coat. Yeah, coat off. Yeah. It means business. Under Armour. Oh. David probably was hoping to get a back air there and got a forward air instead. Oh. Nice grab. Up smash. Doesn't kill. Dropper. Just kind of gives them room to land randomly. <laughs> Choo choo. Like David's back on offense. I like the sequence there. It does get the nair. Double jab. Didn't fast fall the nair, so. Got ground for the troubles, but. Uh, I don't know. Not looking too good. Yeah. Ryan's got to make a play here. He gets back here. Oh, jab. Darn. I see David looking pretty dominant. Ryan taking breath. Oh. This is their Coco, right? Gets killed. <laughs> so now we have a four stocks to. Two game here. Oh, that down smash was brutal there. Yeah, this was a bad matchup. <laughs> yep. Those you just did that versus Ice Climbers for like 15 years, you know? Sure. And finally learned, they finally learned how to deal with it, but it took them a while. Okay. 15 years, a long time. Went from being born to being a high schooler in that period. Being able to drive. Some states, yeah. Is it in DC? In DC? DC 16. DC 16. 17. 16. Like yeah. You learn it's at 16. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, MC David driving the play right now. Three stocks to one. Ryan gonna have to come up with some sort of a comeback attempt. Uh, was going to Icy's, I guess, because it worked last time, too. <laughs> but, uh... Cool combo. Oh, Smash? Oh, I know. I see David kind of DI'ing right every time I had down throw. Choo-choo. Brian has been getting a lot of stuff out of it without his nano. Okay. Does get the up Smash, so a uh, bit more even, or a uh, bit closer of a set right now. I see David playing a little differently than John Wong. He's uh, kind of playing outside the range while uh, John Wong was like going in and being aggressive and trying to force 50 50s and pressure and shield. Choo choo. Uh, I see David's kind of like staying out there, doing back airs, down smashing, you know, yeah. poking from outside Brian's range. He's going icy again, man. Ooh, is he just giving age? Being nice to MC David, like, yeah, he's like, you know what? I want this to be a game five game. <laughs> yeah, gotta give you the first two for free. True, true. But I mean, MC David beat his sheet. Ah, uh, so Ryan's got the secret formula. Yeah, he's gonna go Fox. Man, that was really good. MC David kind of realizing that Nano was just dead there and just kept Ryan out of the uh, range for throwing turnips, bullying. 102, 108, 118. And oh, gets the got a stitch. stitch. Uh, that's not looking pretty good. That's like a death sentence for the last climbers. There it is. Again. You grabs, grabs it again. Ah, misses Nana. Yeah. Good DI there from Nana. Good job. <laughs> Damn, MC even kind of trash. Couldn't even hit his CPU. Ah. Wash alert. David's like, yeah, I'm not going in. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> yeah. You must be high on grass to think I'm going in. Speaking of grass. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little uh, push this is, I feel like this is pretty good for Peach. Yep. Like, what, what size is going to be? Camp the top flat? Like, no. <laughs> Taking him for a ride. Ain't talking about Marvel versus Capcom, too. Yeah. Ooh, it's nice to get a turn up. David's also pulling a lot more turnips. Yep. You know, 
keeps them apart a lot better. Not gonna get the triple back area there, but still on the Sopo, and now, yeah, look at Bleak. He just got a whole ledge there. I guess that does it too. Yeah, sometimes you do just gotta go out there, because then you don't want the ambiguous. Yeah. Oh, yeah am I gonna get him or not? That's a out stage. There it is. And a purple card gets set in the same way, like for Ryan. You know, it's, it's like a roulette where you're gonna get sent from the down smash. Yeah. I'm seeing it just kind of harassing uh, Ryan. When he gets a hit, it's like double, triple Nair. That's gonna be it for the uh, mana. Ryan's famous Sopo. Up smashing it in place. No hard read. Uh, gonna be given there. Looking for that down throw. That is going to be a three stocks to one lead now for MC David. As we have a fire transformation coming up here. Nice back here. Yeah, we're gonna have a little ledge too. We'll see if that plays in. Nope, doesn't even need to uh, use it. Yeah, this is also pretty bad for ice climbers, I feel like. Yeah. What are they gonna do here? No idea. It actually might be like a little good for the Nana. Uh, just to get hit. Just down smash three times next to the wall. True. I feel like this just is a Ryan's of it. Yeah. Oh. oh, never mind. Ryan's the best player. <laughs> See, David just dying from fear. It's down smash. This is it. Ah, oh, just down smash again. Why are you pulling a turn up? Gets jumped. <laughs> Gets knocked out by that jab. True. Oh, nice dash attack. But yeah, actually, Ryan won here in their uh, first set that they played against each other. But it doesn't look like he's going to do it this time. Yeah, Ryan would have to win neutral like 15 times. And MC David will have to win neutral once. Yeah, that's what happened. 2 0, MC David. Let's He's get going to back. Go home early. He's going back. What is he doing? Uh, All right. What is he thinking? He really wants to win this one. True. A lot of money online. Yeah. Yeah, they have to have made a bet. There's no way you. Because you win more money, ladies and gentlemen, if you get in first. And yeah, we don't have any regulations in the melee community. Side bet on yourself all day. Yeah. Oh, 71, 81 percent, 89 percent. Uh, gamble kind of the, uh, the theme here. As he uh, gambles another game uh, with his ice climbers. Uh, MC David's like, why do you do this? Yeah, he's I'm like just going to down smash and turn up you. And Ryan's like the negative odds, dude. It's negative, <laughs> you know. <laughs> or would it be, I win no, sorry, if I win. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Or, or is it plus? No, we're sorry. in a racetrack plus right now. Yeah. If you're not going to gamble here, where are you going to gamble? Yeah, exactly. Till my horse wins again, baby. <laughs> it's a great song by the... Uh, there's a band called the uh, Wilhelm Scream. I if you've ever heard of them. I've heard of the Wilhelm Scream. Yeah. That's, I only found out about them because I searched up Wilhelm Scream. <laughs> I saw that. But right now, Ryan... Ryan looking dejected. Yeah, probably Wilhelm screaming internally right there. I, it's, all these transformations are like so bad for ice climbers. True. If you could just like camp a platform and just down smash it. What can they do? Nothing. You know, I'm probably very wrong on all ice climbers players are gonna make fun of me for any of this, but yeah. <laughs> I mean Frozen Stadium really good for ice climbers. Yeah, of course it's not Frozen Stadium. It's yep. a counterpick stadium, maybe. Exactly. Oh, Ryan. Up oh, taunts, <laughs> alright. Ryan's having a good time. Yeah, it's a bold strategy, Con. We get the forward air that Nana just survived. Oh, oh the Nana makes up the grab! Oh. Nana the goat! <laughs> Bubbles three times. MC David does not mash out of it. <laughs> He's like, oh. Yo, is this the turnaround? Is the AI gonna save Ryan? Ryan going to chat GPT for his wins? Having a little relationship troubles goes right down to the chat. And it's like, I got you, homie. Yeah. But Ryan did not got Nana. He, he don't. <laughs> he don't got Nana. He don't got this right now. All right, grab. Oh, okay. And it's down for the down smash. It look bleak. It look right now between these two. This is a kill, right? Yeah. yeah down smash uh, forward. Down it. Down throw forward smash. There we go. Yep. We don't. <laughs> we played this game. Yep. That is the thing we do. Oh, if that Nana's out, 
Jab, jab. Peach's jab is just better. Sorry, Popo. And that fire transformation, too. Looking probably like the best one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now the grass one's probably the best one for Sopo. Or Popo. Or ice climbers. Oh, that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen, as we have just a tiny little sequence here for MC David to close it out as he does it. 3-0 against Ryan. Dang. Taken. Xanadu, 545. It's 5.45. It's 5.45. You know, it seemed like just yesterday when we had a Xanadu Legends uh, 500. Yeah. And now we're already at 5.45. Yeah, you know, uh, going to hit 600 in like no time. Yeah. 5.50. No, that's crazy. Are we doing anything for 5.50? Probably not. But, ladies and gentlemen. Come here anyway. As we, a great we time. We have a little slip here that says Legends. Xanadu Legends, March 9th. I want you all to come out. Xanadu... Legends this month was not that populated, and we need y'all to come. Same right as. as we see here, we also have if you're old, if you're an old kid in the crowd, and uh, you're rooting for uh, Ryan, you're upset uh, that Ryan didn't win. Uh, fear not, because I'm assuming is he going to be at uh, Zanadu Homecoming there, February 24th for Ultimate. And if you're an FGC player and you want to play some Tekken, we got our bread and butter monthly on February 17th. Hey, good games. Uh, but yeah. As uh, I think we're gonna have a little player interview here from uh, MC David. Thanks for commentating, man. I'll see ya. All right. So it's been a while. How's it feel to have a free grand finals? <laughs> <laughs> it did take two Peach games today, so it wasn't yeah. entirely free. True. Uh, but yeah, a bit easier than a Sheik. That's fair to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Was it just pride? Do you guys have like some sort of side bet? Uh, no, I think he just was frustrated and was like, I'm just going to do something I know is fun. And if it works, that's even better. But there's really no, like, what's the worst case scenario? It doesn't work, and then everybody has a good laugh. Cheers. Like, I mean, he literally, he took a game off me with that same Ice Climbers in, in winners. So yeah. it's possible. Cheers. Like, I, that matchup is super bad. It is like 8-2, but I, it's real 8-2 and not fantasy 8-2. Like, sometimes people will be talking about the matchup online, they'll be like, it's an A2 matchup, and that means it's impossible, and those climbers can never win. But that's literally not what that expression means. <laughs> it means if you play 10 sets, the, and the two evenly skilled players, the Peach will win eight of them, which is what I believe. So, it's definitely possible, but yeah, it, you got to outplay the other person pretty hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think uh, helped you get here, though? Because, like, the, the actual grants... Mm -hmm. uh, pretty, like, free after, like, the, the first game. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like, those... I mean... No discredit, but yeah. like that, the run before that was pretty impressive. Like yeah. you, you, you took down Stan. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the run back. And yes, then, who uh, beat me twice last week. Yeah, so. and then you beat uh, beat Ryan in mm -hmm. winners finals when he was like putting the yeah. cheek on display. I've been adding new stuff to all my problem matchups. So yeah, the new thing I was doing against Falco this week is I started doing when you got like half a screen between you doing like nair forward out of crouch. I was never doing them before. I was just doing dash attack, which of course loses to shield. A really hard. Uh, plus, it loses. It, it doesn't go as far as you can nair forward. So, like, there are spacings where it screws you up. So, just making that little switch out is a huge difference maker because that means I can get like down smashes at zero. It means I can get edge guards at like high percent. So I don't get stuck in those like Martharitis type situations where they live to like 150 percent. Um, and against uh, Sheik, I'm doing fairway more because I I have a problem in that matchup when I'm trying to do regular shield pressure. I just get. Uh, shield grabbed a ton, especially against Ryan, who's incredible at doing shield DI. So even if you have a good spacing, he'll like do that little nudge forward to make sure that he can get the grab, and then he can convert like 70% off a of grab at zero, which, which you know she Peach can't do back to Sheik. Uh, but by replacing a lot of that was just like walling with fair, and then if they give you space because you're walling with fair, then you can get a turn up, and then you can start your turn up pressure that way. That it completely changes how how neutral goes. So you can do it in a way that where you know. If I if I do lose neutral, I take a hit. I don't get blown up for you know my entire stock, and that's uh, it's made a big difference. I did I played a lot better against Ryan this week. I beat Kush a couple weeks ago, um, and I still can't beat Mo Money, but that's next on the list. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I just keep, you know there's always room to grow, man, because it's melee. True, true. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to say this too because I, I I'm really glad that I won one because. I am actually not going to be around much after mm. the end of February. Ah, wh yeah. what do you got going on? So one of my, my other big hobby besides Melee from before the pandemic is I used to do improv comedy in really? D.C. Yeah, with really? Washington Improv Theater. 
And I stopped doing it when, you know, everything got shut down. I never started again because, like, all the friends that I was doing it with back then they were just, like, moved on with their lives. I'm old as hell, so everybody has freaking kids and stuff now. Um, but uh, I got invited to just play with them random thing a couple, like, months ago, and it made me remember how much I miss it. Uh, so I auditioned to join a team, and I actually got in, like, uh, oh, nice. they told me a week ago, and it's the practices and start on the beginning of March and it's unfortunately on Wednesdays. Mm. So yeah. yeah, my Xanadu appearances are going to be few and far between. Yeah. So I got one more win <laughs> and hopefully Malachi can come out so I can I just need yeah, one. Yeah. Get that just <laughs> I just the need one. one before I retire. Just but yeah, one. that's why I've been I've been grinding like crazy the last couple weeks because I know that I'm not going to be able to do it pretty much ever after this. Yeah. So this is going to be the last time for a while. True, true. Mm -hmm. You think you're uh, going to... Where, where do you think is going to be like the next place, though? Because, I, I mean, I'd assume you're not like... Are you going to take a break from Melee, or are you just trying to find the next place? Well, I won't have... Gonna... I won't be able to go to Xanadu anymore. Yeah. The, or the shows are on Monday, so I won't be able to do Cave. Not that I've done that in forever for yeah. various reasons. Um, and I do D&D &D on Thursday, so I can't do BMW. I mean, I guess I could do Flipside on Tuesdays, mm. right? Does that sound right to you? Is that Tuesdays? Tuesdays, yeah. Flipside. Yeah. Also, if you, I mean, BMS, too. Oh, that's true, too. I, I guess yeah. you won't win anybody. But, yeah, when but we, I don't have this place with, like, friends where everybody's, like, trying to improve together and stuff. I don't know if I'll have the you. motivation to grind. So I mean, I'll be around, but I won't be very good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll go back to the way I was, you know, six months ago. Yeah. You, I mean, you can have fun. You also can, yeah. I mean, UMD is mm -hmm. always fun to be had there. Yeah, true, true. Go some secondaries. Have some fun. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to miss you here. Yeah, it's yeah. Been, been fun. It's, I've been coming here almost every week for like two years since yeah. I moved to Laurel. Uh, and yeah, it's been awesome, man. We have a great scene in Maryland. I feel like we're spoiled. We don't, <laughs> like, yeah. if you've ever lived anywhere else, you realize how crazy it is to have a local full of cool people who are also super talented on basically every day of the week. And then there's a monthly every other weekend. True. Like, it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> people in New York and Jersey would kill for our schedule. True. <laughs> no, dude, it's, it's actually insane because. Like, in 2022, it wasn't exactly that way. Mm -mm. But, like, there's something that happened. I don't know what it was, but, like, late December of 2022 or more more likely January of 2023, mm -hmm. it just – people were like, screw it. We're coming out. Yeah. We're coming out to places and all this – like, everything has just been popping. Yeah. Like, it's just – it's been so nice, like, to just have those consistent – locals yeah. just have new people in the scene like you know i i think with with flipside and like lion's den uh having those new tournaments come mm -hmm. up you know the cave just being insane mm -hmm. uh having these xanadus uh you know pop off as well what there's, was it tonight like 18 people 18 people there's a, that's sick what's great yeah. is like there's so many setups here and mm -hmm. there's like enough people to where you just find friendlies whenever oh 100 percent. and mm -hmm. it's it's just so nice it's like i think this is the best like it excluding umd uh, mm -hmm. And BMS. If you're like newer to the game, come out to these Xanadus. Like you mm -hmm. will learn so much from so many yeah, players agreed, here. 100%. Like even if even if you go into like like a, tons of weeks in a row, you're gonna learn so much more than if yeah. you just you know stick on Slippy. And our our TO near is really good about if you're new, you'll get a set on stream. So True. not only like ev even if maybe you set what you lose, but you'll be able to watch it later and be able to like, oh, you know, pick out stuff that you did and maybe even the commentators can point out some stuff that you did. True, true. I yeah. mean, how often do you, even if you have slippy replays, like it can be yeah. hard to get other people to watch them. So. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, you have people in the Discord as well mm -hmm. who, who are uh, super willing. If you, you join our MDBA Discord mm -hmm. uh, and we have I mean, character discords running mm -hmm. here. Like we have a, <laughs> a lot of people who are willing to just will give you advice you know yeah. what i mean just it's part of the fun know. right <laughs> yeah exactly we want to see we want to see our character uh rise up so mm -hmm. we want to see them rise the ranks and uh yeah oh it, uh my wife texted me that you guys want to know about my shirt oh yeah. yeah yeah uh it's not much of a story you know in the jackbox party pack there's a game where you make funny t-shirts you can print them out yeah so this, yeah. this was from a, a game of tko <laughs> nice okay. that's all i got to say about that <laughs> true true yeah but yeah, I think uh, any closing remarks you wanna you wanna give her? No, nope, just happy to be here. And I Malachi, next time I see you, I swear to God, I will destroy you. <laughs> Betting Malachi everything I have on it. Malachi's <laughs> probably probably laughing at home. Oh like, yeah, I'm sure he loves he, <laughs> he, he loves, loves playing like, the villain. So <laughs> yeah, 
He's not. Well, he's not really. A, he's more like. A, I don't know. You ever watched yeah, that video about his yeah. his rivalry with Magi? Yeah, you I know guess. he loves talking shit. Give him an excuse yeah. to talk shit. He'll do it all day. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's like he's more like he likes play. He likes other people thinking he's the villain. Yes, but he doesn't well, like. He doesn't that's like, what I mean. He's not a jerk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. He's not. You know. Mm-hmm. He's not like, well, ha, ha, ha. He's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you think I'm a villain? That's funny. Yeah, because yeah. I'm the best. Yeah. Prove I'm not. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Right. He's more than, like, getting into people's heads. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. I uh, I look forward to seeing that next All time. Right. Next time we get that rematch. But uh, as for today, uh, we have MC David on top. Uh Thank you to all y'all coming out. Thank you for MC mm-hmm. David for uh, interviewing with me. Thank you, Zrick, uh, for commentating and everyone else who commentated. Thank you, Brig, for always uh, helping us out back there, being the GOAT. Uh, and uh, Nira for TOing and uh, Xanadu for uh, hosting these events. Uh, this will be, oh, set of the night. What do you think of the set of the night? Um, oh, my set was Stan, for Stan? sure. Yeah, that was really, it, it was tight. Yeah. Um, and it, a lot of fun adaptation and a crazy ending that could never be will never be replicated. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were racing to who could SD first. It was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say that too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this will uh, be Johnny Lawrence. I'm a bit tired here. Uh, Johnny Lawrence signing out. Peace.